Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I have a wig review for you. This is the Ryan from Paula Young that I wear all the time. It's in, what's the color, 14, 1426A in the average cap. I think I need to start trimming some of this back. It tends to wanna stick out, but this is my Ryan. So Paula Young was having a sale. They're always having a sale. <clears throat> and so I thought, well, I'm gonna get another one. Same color, really like it. It's pretty much my everyday go-to wig. So it was on sale for $39.99. And if you spent, I think it was $50 or 60, then you got free shipping. So I ordered uh, another Ryan and I ordered an Alex that I'll be doing in a different video. So, I took it out of the box and I noticed some problems right away. It looks shorter. I mean, you can see. Now I can't seem to see. But it's see-through in the back. It just doesn't seem the same. And I think this one had been returned because when I opened the box, it didn't have the hairnet. It didn't have the, look, oh, hang on here, it's right here. The white plastic little straw that they put in. Um, and so I think this was a return, which shame on you, Paula Young, if it's defective, don't put it on the shelf. And the Alex wig came, it looked like it was brand new, but it came with this sticky note on it. So. I'm not sure. And now they, this is new. Here's the other one. They send you a little, here. Send you this to use when you try your wigs on. That's, I have never seen that before from Paula Young and I've ordered from them many times. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and then I'm gonna show you this on and you can see what I saw. Okay, okay, I'm back with my lovely little hygienic cap on. This is something I would not be able to wear all day. It's too tight and my head isn't big. So I buy an average, but I always have a lot of loose cap in here. So this is the new one with the tags attached. And I am going to be sending this one back. Okay. See what I mean? It's just like, really? This is nothing like my other, I have two other Ryan wigs and this is terrible. This is nothing like either of them. Look at how flat it is. Look at how short it is here. I have the, uh, the edge where it should be, my hairline. Look at this. I'm just gonna finger comb it because I'm returning it. But Paula Young, this is not okay. This is, I'm pretty sure someone else returned it. As you can hear, I haven't replaced my bench. I really like this bench. It was my great grandparents. So I don't know if you can see the tag back there, but that's the tag from inside. And so you guys tell me, what do you see? I mean, this side is cute. I like this flippy part, but this side, it just goes forward and it's flat. Flat right here. Nice and full on this side, flat on this side. So, nope, this one isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna return this. So this is the one I currently wear, and this is the new one. I guess you can't really see much of a difference, but I think you can see it much better when it's on. And just to show you guys, this is what I do, <coughs> excuse me. My wigs, I cut off the adjustable straps 
And then I sew in clips, one here in the very front, one on each side at the ear tab. These are pressure sensitive clips. And then one at the nape. I keep my tags on so I know which wig it is because I don't always remember because I have a few that are similar in the same color, but anyway. So that was $39.99. I'm going to return it uh, as long as, and I'm also gonna return the Alex. Some of you guys might like it, but I didn't like it. And so I'll be showing you that. And this is what the adjustable ear straps look like. They're Velcro. That's what they look like. And I just loosened um, these when I tried it on because I removed them completely. There you go. I hope this was helpful. You know, with any of the wig companies, it's hit or miss. I'm not um, coming down on Paula Young because I know that I've read on other web or wig sites, people are complaining about quality control and the first one of that style they received, they loved. And then after that, when they ordered another one, it was not the same. So I'm not gonna rag on them too much, but I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, did I tell you what color it is? I think so. The 1426A, that's the color I usually choose. It works really well for me. And I know I've had requests to do uh, reviews with red wigs and dark wigs, and they just don't look that good on me, so I'm not gonna spend my money doing that. And there are plenty of other people who do different colored um, wig reviews, so sorry guys, but I'm not gonna spend my money on something I'm not gonna wear. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Have a wonderful Independence Day coming up here in America. And I'll just talk to you next time. Love you. Bye.